there's better opportunities in things that I understand more in. And I know you know a lot about Corsair, whereas I, yeah. I don't necessarily. Um, I can understand that. Yeah, I mean, it, at the end of the day, well, shoot, with the Spider-Man NFT, how much money you made off that, I don't think any yeah. stock can hold a candle to that, baby. So <laughs> True. Even, even though I technically didn't make it because I'm still like in the app, it's called Gems. There's, there's no way to move your money from Gems to dollars. You'll be able to mm -hmm. eventually. But in the meantime, that that is a huge risk you're taking, like a big assumption that, you know, gems. Whoa, to I didn't know. That. Wait a minute. Can you explain that concept? I had no clue. I assumed you could sell that today and then you just got the money. It doesn't work like that. No, no, not quite. So when you move money into the app, you can't. Con so, so you move dollars into gems. That's that's how you buy the collectibles. You, you don't buy them with actual dollars. But you can't uh -huh. use OMI, the cryptocurrency that underpins the app, because Apple is not going to let you use crypto to buy anything inside of the app. It's just like Apple doesn't want you to use crypto, obviously. So uh, the way the workaround that they figured out is to convert dollars to gems, which is basically their stable coin. One gem is one dollar. The problem, though, is that you cannot convert your gems back to dollars. It's kind of stuck in this fictional in-app currency. Now, as long as you trust the team, the project, the licenses, the companies that are partnered with this, and you assume that that's coming with the MTL, the money transmitter license, which they have, once they have that in, you have to understand if you're buying collectibles that are $50,000 a piece and you allow people to withdraw them from your app, guess what you need to do? KYC and AML, right? Know your customer, any money laundering laws, they need those things in place. So before you get to move and sell your NFTs out to the dollar, the IRS wants a piece of that. And there's no way that companies like Disney and Marvel are gonna allow Vivi to just like willy nilly move NFTs worth $100,000 without the IRS knowing about it. So it makes sense that for now, you know, you can't do that, but you'll eventually be able to because the team just has every incentive under the sun to allow that. Wow, that's a huge that's risk a lot of trust. Yeah, yeah that's it's a lot, lot of trust. Not Whoa. not unlike believing that TTCF will someday keep growing and people will still eat frozen food. Not unlike no. that. No, no, no. <laughs> this is a whole different type of risk, Andre. You're you're hoping yeah, that someday yeah, maybe right. you can get your money back. <laughs> I listen, I think all forms of investing, regardless if you're buying stocks or NFTs, require some form of trust and speculation. And it just depends on what that risk is for you. Yeah, that's the biggest risk I've ever heard, you know, personally. I can't think of anything bigger. <laughs> no no disrespect. I don't mean that in a jaded way at all. I'm just like, well, that's the craziest this? thing I've ever heard. That's well, true. Let's talk about the biggest risk next week 